11, 12. Uh, this abscess from the molar up to the incisor, I think that uh, unfortunately this bicuspid is uh, completely surrounded in a in a giant uh, deficit that's uh, actually deeper than the root itself. So I just don't see any way that that deficit can uh, recover itself. And uh, if I leave this bicuspid, it's going to destroy the eye tooth. And uh, that's one. And then two is this molar here, this first molar. Unfortunately, it uh, has a very deep furcation, and the furcation may even go all the way through. That's two, uh, which means that this thing, I don't think that can recover either. The uh, Then we get to the second molar, and uh, it also has a furcation, but I think the furcation is only on one side. So, if I sacrifice the bicuspid and the molar, then there's a good chance that the second molar can be saved. Now, unfortunately, it does kind of ruin, you know, my, my dentition, which is unfortunate, because this goes, that goes, so basically it, there, it's, you know, it just, it's just a hole. There's no way, there's no way around it. Uh, but, you know, that's just too bad. Because uh, I think what I can do is save the forward part of the dentition, save the wisdom tooth and the molar. So, I mean, technically, I wouldn't even have to replace those teeth. And then I could, uh, you know, I suppose I could get an appliance uh, or just wait for the bone to heal and then I could get, I'd get implants. And certainly that's going to cost money. But uh, I don't think there's any point in saving this stuff. Because I think these things are just gone. So, anyway, so that's the story. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to clean out this abscess. I'm going to try to get rid of the infection as much as I can. Then uh, that way, you know, if I can get a bone graft, then um, maybe it'll be helpful in that way if the area is not infected.